Virgo. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Virgo. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. Clarify the five of wands for Virgo. Clarify the five of wands for Virgo. Clarify the five of wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Virgo. Clarify the Empress for Virgo. Clarify the Empress for Virgo. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen, Virgo, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. Clarify the page of swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Virgo, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Now Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about whether or not to look into something or not, to check on something or not, research something or not, but maybe you're stuck. Okay. Virgo, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication, some type of conflict or disagreement or argument or drama here with this Libra, this Taurus, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone who could be expecting, and you're blocking communication here. Virgo, 
you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Virgo, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Virgo, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now you could be indecisive on whether or not to go stagnant with this per person or you are going stagnant and blocking them. Virgo, you have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Virgo, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Virgo. Clarify the lovers for Virgo. Clarify the lovers for Virgo. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. It is clarified with the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, either coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Virgo, clarify the King of Swords. For Virgo, clarify the King of Swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Virgo, listen, this could be work or business dealing with a partnership here. And you're having to make a decision because practicality could have slowed down tremendously here. And you're trying to decide what to do concerning it. 
concerning your abundance. However, you can tell me that you guys had this communication here and you're all up in your head and you're needing to make a decision. You can also tell me that you weren't looking and spying and you've come into some truth and clarity about there being another other lover here. And this is what has you in your head needing to make a decision. Could be stuck on this decision that you're having to make. Virgo, you have the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Virgo, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Clarify the 10 of swords for Virgo. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. <sighs> so... Virgo, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You know, Virgo, I feel like you are meditating on this betrayal because you've come into some truth and clarity here. But you can tell me that you're also trying to recover from it. And you're taking a break from this person because of the betrayal. You're going stagnant and maybe blocking them out. Virgo, you have the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Virgo, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Seven of Swords. For Virgo, clarify the Seven of Swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the Fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Virgo. Clarify the fool for Virgo. Clarify the fool for Virgo. It is clear. Oh, my gosh. Again, Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Virgo, you can tell me that you're finding out that they took a risk or a chance in you guys' as a relationship. They were being deceptive here, okay? Now, this deception could be over some type of partnership with work or business, or a deception is that there's another other lover here, and you're feeling a sense of betrayal. You could also tell me because of this deception, you're ready to sneak off and leave. You're ready to leave. We're going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Virgo. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. What else for Virgo? What else for Virgo? And it says racing, running, avoiding. Racing, running, avoiding. I feel like you want to get away. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 5th through January the 6th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like,
comment and share and follow me on Twitter at her immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.